reality as we know it as mere human beings is not real. Let me say that one more time. Reality as mere human beings know it is not real. May I show you what I mean? I mean that each one of us has a perception of what we see. We can see the same bird land on top of a lamppost or a tree and have several different descriptions of how the bird landed. <laughs> Absolutely. And so in a world that is not real, that's why the Bible says you were to walk by what? Not by sight. Because <laughs> the sight will fool you. Isn't that right? You can't believe everything that you see. Ah, but that's why you walk by faith. Walk by faith. And so with that, since what we see isn't real, and the only reality is God's reality, what do we need to do? Well, we need some help, don't we? We need some help figuring out what is real and what is not real. What is eternal and what is temporary. And there is only one source. One. There's only one source where we can get that information from. And that's the Lord. So, will you with me enhance your life by taking away the unnecessary, by taking away that which is unreal and inputting that which is real, that which will last for eternity? You know, when you do that, you'll cause disruptions in society that will reform, that will remake and remodel society as we know it. Come, as, as Moses said to the children uh, of Israel and also to the people that he was inviting to come to the promised land, he said, come go with us. We're going to a goodly land. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.